buttons, set your thermostats, and restrict your ability to learn, to enjoy health, to relax, to handle stress, even to love. Psycho-Cybernetics gives you many skills for resetting your thermostats and expanding your abilities. These skills make things that are now difficult for you remarkably easy. Lee, how does the automatic success mechanism work? Well, if you'll get on this bicycle, I'll show you. I was afraid of that. <laughs> okay, now I'd like for you to put your feet up on the pedals, but don't move forward. Oh, -ho. um, obviously a bicycle was not meant just to sit on, was it? That's exactly right. That bicycle was designed to work best when it and its rider are moving forward. Then what is the point? We human beings were also designed to work best when we are moving forward towards goals that are interesting and meaningful to us. We are natural goal-seeking mechanisms. We feel best, we're healthiest, we enjoy life most, and we get along with others best when we are progressing towards goals. I buy that. I'm at my best when I'm working towards a goal, but then why don't more people actually set goals and achieve their goals? Many people sabotage their goal-seeking mechanism with doubts, worry, frustration, confusion, and insecurity. Some people are boxed in by their past programming and embedded commands. When they try to use goals, they don't get good results because of all that interference. So psycho-cybernetics can actually get rid of all of the interference that we have in our lives. That's right. Dr. Maltz used the principles of missile navigation technology to develop skills that lock people in on their goals totally insulated from negative interference. It starts with a psycho-cybernetic skill called clearing the calculator. Before you can use this calculator to solve new problems, you have to hit the clear button and clear it of old data and old problems. When Dr. Maltz talks about emotional surgery, he's clearing out all the old negative data and interference so that the automatic success mechanism is free to work. That's right? exactly right. Let's look at another one of these skills. Okay. This one is called Rehearsal in the Theater of Your Mind. Watch the monitor and we'll see how it works. Famous champion golfer Ben Hogan told Time Magazine that he made each golf shot in his imagination, not just visualizing it, but actually feeling it, experiencing it before making the shot. Ben said this gave him perfect muscle memory. Synthetic successful experience leads to actual successful experience. Through rehearsal in the theater of your mind, you can build up success reflexes and automatic success behaviors. Here's how this works in everyday life. I first got a copy of Psycho-Cybernetics about 10 years ago when I was training heavily for the Olympics. And I especially enjoyed the theater of your mind concept. Visualizing something in the theater of your mind and seeing it happen right before your eyes, even though it hasn't happened yet. And that worked with me in my training and, you know, the achievements I've made, I think I can attribute a lot of them to the visualization techniques that I was able to use. And now with Liberty Financial, we founded it in 1986. The company is currently growing at 15% a month, and it, I'm just constantly visualizing, and I'm constantly achieving as a result of the visualization. And I think anybody who gets a hold of this course is going to find the same results I did. Every day, uh, or every evening actually, before the next day comes about when I'm going to do a surgery, I will go over that surgery in my mind. The other way it works is, of course, when you have to do something new, and it becomes stressful that perhaps you're not up for that task. We've recently designed a new, new joint for a thumb, and I remember the, the first time we did it, it was a very stressful situation. Uh, but by realizing previous successes, previous things that we had done in surgery or in dealing with patients, uh, it made it that much easier because you go in with a sense of confidence. It happens that Salvador Dali, a, a very dear friend of mine, this famous uh, uh, Spanish uh, painter, uh, gave me a painting of his concept of psycho-cybernetics. He had a world in it. And the one half of the world was in shadow from frustration where man's image has shrunken to the size of a small potato. The other half is in sunlight from confidence. And uh, there man's image is 10 feet tall and he's walking towards the sun. What is he trying to say? That's the whole essence of psychocybernetics. We're a composite, a combination of heartaches and happiness, of misfortunes and good luck, and we must realize that frustrations are there for us to rise above it 
and to turn it into a kinetic productive force of confidence. Now what is confidence? Is your capacity to rise above a mistake. So when you take the trick of the moneyed players in sports, now what happens with them? They're in a contest. They're out to win. Now suppose they lose. They're not going to carry that loss into the next contest the next day. It reminds me of the time that when uh, uh, Babe Ruth struck out, one reporter said to him, Babe, what do you think about when you strike out? He said, well, I think of hitting home runs. Now, that's the point of living. You don't remember the thousands of times Babe Ruth struck out, but you remember that he was a SWAT king. And if he had remembered the thousands of times he struck out every time, he would never hit the ball. King. Absolutely. So the point of the matter is you think of the past, if you have to, of your confidences. The business of creative living, of psycho cybernetics, which is the basis of our workshop that we're going to start uh, this month, the 23rd and 25th of January at Marriott House, is just this the essence of it. What are you going to be in life, a person of frustration or a person of confidence? And it's up to you to make the decision. When you look in the mirror, you're going to say, what kind of day is this going to be for me, Charlie, old boy? What kind of day is it going to be for me, Betsy, baby? You make the decision. <laughs> and you make the decision by remembering the money players in sports. When they lose a contest, the next day they're out to win. And that's what life should be. Now it's time to begin our 12-week adventure with Dr. Maltz's Zero Resistance Living Program.